all right hey everyone welcome back to my channel salesforce makes sense this is imanshu and today we'll be taking a look at use case 4 of record triggered flows if you are someone who's looking at this video directly i'd encourage you to start my flow builder masterclass playlist and you can take a look at all the videos from the beginning that will help you set in context and understand things a bit better instead of directly jumping into this use case all right great so for those of who of you who are following let's take a look at this use case and let's understand the problem so every time a lead is created through a web form send an acknowledgement email to the lead informing we'll get in touch soon all right so very quickly what is the object that is in concern here it is the lead object correct now what is the action what is the database action is it a create update delete what is it it is a create right so every time a lead is created so we are sorted with how the flow needs to be triggered it the entry condition is whenever a lead object is created okay now do you have any other filter conditions what are the filter conditions it should be created through a web form which means that the lead source should be web right so if i take a look at the leads and if i go ahead and try to create a new one you'll notice that there's something that's called a lead source and if the lead source is web only then i want to be doing this particular use case or this automation all right so let's quickly set up our basics so i'll go to say new flow and i'll say record triggered flow i don't need any screens and i'll simply say whenever a lead is created okay and what are my entry conditions all the conditions should match and the condition is that the lead source should be equal to web only then i want to do something right now what do i want to do do i want to update any fields on the object no i just simply want to send out an email okay and i want to send out an email to the lead or rather the email that i've captured from the lead from the customer that will get in touch soon okay so simply say save here i'll say record triggered flows for use case four send email to lead if source is web save all right it cannot start because there's nothing assigned what i want to do is i simply want to send out an email now before coming here i'll have to set up the email so let's quickly create a template and an alert okay i'll show you how you can associate an email alert directly on your flow okay now there are two ways to send out emails from flows if you just go ahead and say send email if you just simply type here send email you have this action that's available from salesforce okay let's get rid of this box and you have this action that's available but here what you need to do is you need to configure your entire email here so you'll have to in, in, input the body you'll have to input the email template id you'll have to in, input who's the recipient is you would have to in, in, input what record should it be for if there's any sender if there's any subject and all of this will be configured from this box which is a bit cumbersome and it's not a great thing to do because this might lead to errors and you might miss out on what fields are mandatory and what are not okay so i suggest writing down or creating an email alert in the system the way you the way you normally do right so simply let's go to setup let's say email templates let's go in here let's say new template okay i'll just do this a bit faster because this is not the tutorial that i'm showing you on the use case it is just a requisite so this should be for the lead fields all right so i'll just choose the lead fields i'll just say available for use and here i'll put a template name what should be the template name lead inquiry response all right whoever has inquired should get a response right thank you for signing up this is my subject and i'll say hey glad to connect we will be in touch soon all right that's my pretty plain message i'll simply say save and if you want to put any lead field you can select it from here and you can choose whatever you want okay you can put the first name so if i just simply say hey and i simply choose the first name here so this merge field will be available for me to paste here 
okay now this will run as part of context and for whichever lead it runs it will show the name accordingly we'll see that happening in action let's say save so my email template is created but email templates cannot be directly associated to automation tools you need an email alert for it so you'll create an email alert a lot of people get confused i created a template how do why do i have to create an alert the alert is what gets tagged to the automation tool not the template right the template is what will be sent to the customer okay so you need an email alert so that's why we create an alert and we tag the alert with the object and the template which is why you see this object option here okay i'll choose the lead object and as soon as i choose the lead object this email template list will also be available to help me choose which template do i want here so i'll find my inquiry response template the one i just created the lead inquiry response and i'll say the i'll keep the same name of my email alert also just to keep everything in line and easy to find okay and then i'll say who should this be sent to this should be sent to the email field right what email field the email field that's available on the lead record that's our use case right this should be sent out to the send an acknowledgement email to the lead so leads email will be on the lead record and this is exactly what is available here okay this is that email field all right let's just say this all of this is fine i'll simply say save so now my email alert name is lead inquiry response let's go back to the record triggered flow refresh our page and now we should start seeing the email alert available as an action okay right so whenever a lead is created and the lead what was the criteria sorry i forgot the lead status is web yes i just want to simply do a email alert which is lead inquiry see this alert is showing up here the one that we just created okay and now all you have to simply do here is is tag the record that you want to run this for the record id how do you do that pretty simple you know the global variable record and you simply paste the dot id variable here that's it okay send email to customer to get in touch so all right just something relevant done and say save that's pretty much it you have just configured a record triggered flow an email alert and you have created an action to send out an email to the customer as soon as the record is created do you want to give it a try let's say new let's say first name is himanshu last name is maheshwari company is salesforce makes sense right and then here i want to what i want to do is that the lead sources web i'm just simulating that this has come from a web form okay and i'll fill in this email here so that we are able to see the email okay so this is my email id let's see if this works i'll simply say save okay so the lead is created and as soon as the lead is created an email should go out right so let's quickly check that out all right so you see this right here this is the email i've received it in spam but you see hey himanshu the the first name has been mapped and it says glad to connect will be in touch soon okay and you see it says that the subject is thank you for signing up all right great that was our use case now we have a challenge here what i'd want you to do is again same same old things i just keep repeating on every videos but if the lead industry is real estate you also need to assign the lead to a state's cube and we have done a queue assignment in one of our previous use cases so i'd encourage you to do this yourself it's just that you need to put a decision node and you need to check whether the industry from which the lead is coming in is a real estate or not if yes then you need to also do something as an extra which is assign the lead owner as a state's queue which means you'll have to create a new queue and just simply set the lead owner id to that particular queue okay how do you find the queue you use the get records elements so i've given you all the possible hints but i want you to give this a try and just comment below in this video saying yes i was able to do it okay that's all i request from me that's all i would want from you all right great that was use case number four and i understand and i know that i'm going very easy in terms of the complexity of the use cases but i want i'm i'm trying to cover what all can you possibly do so for people who have no clue about flows will find this very relevant will find this very easy to go right so be with me and there are more use cases coming just uh, try to see what how you can benefit from this video if you already know the use case that's okay but there might be something that i might know and that might you know help you and that might be relevant all right that's all about use case 4 i'll talk to you in the next use case till then keep learning bye